Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different, but I'm going to be showing you how to create these note pointers in Word. So this is for where you want to make notes on your own document or somebody else's document and they're really customizable. You can put as much or as little information into these boxes as possible. You can color them, you can customize them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these and I'm going to start from scratch and show you how to make one of these pointers. So firstly, you've got your document up here. I'm going to go to insert, text box, draw text box, and anywhere we're just going to draw out a text box. I'm going to zoom in. And if I deselect this text box, you can see we've been left with a black borderline and a white background. Now you can fully customize this if you click on it. And if you go over here to the outline, click on the drop down, you've got a number of different options of all of your colors. You've got more colors here. You can move this little circle around and you can make it darker or lighter. The color you've selected is in this little box here and then you can just simply click OK, deselect and you can see I've now got a pink borderline. You can make that thicker if you want to by going up to the outline again, going to wait and selecting from one of these. So you can fully customize it in this way. If you don't want the border, just select it, go back up and select no outline. So now we've got a background of white. If you want that to stand out a little bit more, just go to shape fill, click on the drop down and once again, select a color of your choice. Or again, you can customize that color using more fill colors. So if I just go to this orange color, deselect, but we can fully customize it, make it into a rectangle. We can make it into a column. We can make it as big or as small as we want. So to insert your text, just click inside. You can see that my cursor is flashing here and then simply just go ahead and insert your text. Okay, so now you've inserted your text, you can customize this text. Now bearing in mind, the likelihood is you're gonna copy and paste this box so you don't have to repeat it over and over again. So whatever customizations you want to do, do it now before you then go ahead and copy and paste it. So for example, if I don't like the text or the font, go to the Home tab and then obviously you can click on here, you can change the font, you can make it bold, you can make the font bigger or smaller using the font size or you can increase the font size using these icons here. You can make it really small or you can make it much bigger. It really depends. Then you can go down to the font color and you can change the color again using all these colors. Deselect, you can see there's a white theme there. Just select it all and go and use the black if you want to or automatic. As I change the shape of this text box, you can see how the text begins to fit into the text box. And again, that's all personal choice. Now for the bottom, you can see that I can move this margin all the way up to here and it starts to move over the text. You can see how thick my margin is. Now sometimes you'll find the text is very close to the edge of the box at the top and perhaps at the sides. Now to adjust these margins, again, select the text box Go to shape format and go over to format pane and in the set shape options here go to this box and you'll see here you've got all of your margins for that text box you can increase the left margin so as i increase it with the up arrow you can see that margin on the left gets bigger and again with the right arrow that margin gets a little bit bigger let me just pull this down and if i click on the top arrow you can see that text starts to move down so you can have it a little bit further into the center of this text box. And that's all just personal choice. You can literally just insert a text box and write notes if you want to. Again, that's up to you. Once you've got all the text in that you want, then you can make the arrows. So go to insert, go to shapes, and then select an arrow, and then just click and draw out an arrow. Don't worry too much about where you're gonna put the arrow because we're gonna customize this arrow as well. So once it's inserted, make sure it's selected. You know that because it's got these little green balls either side. Go to shape format and then go over to this icon here. Now it says shape outline, but this is the one that will customize these arrows. So click on the drop down 
I'm going to go down to weight and change this to three points. Then I'm going to change the color to this one here. But again, you can change it to a contrast in color. It's completely up to you. And then you can move it around this box. Now you can see it goes over the top of these letters. If you want it behind this box so it doesn't interfere, just select it, go to send backwards, send to back. And then with these little green balls, you can now move this arrow anywhere you like. You can move the entire arrow. And again, with this, you can move it anywhere you like. Now, so that you can move it around your document, you can select the arrow, hold down the command or control key and select the box. Make sure you're on shape format. Go over to this icon here, group and select group. And now you can move this anywhere in your document. So if I scroll out, you can see I can move this anywhere I want. And let's say, for example, I wanted the title to be adjusted. I just go up to group, select ungroup, deselect, reselect the arrow and move it to point to the title. I can move this bit if I want to onto the corner and then I can simply group them back together. Go to group and select group. Now, if I want another one of these, all I need to do is make sure it's all grouped together. Hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag to copy and paste. There's many other techniques to copy and paste, but that's the easiest way to do it. Now you just go to ungroup, deselect, double click inside here to then allow your cursor to be inside. Let's just zoom in. Then you can simply select all of your text and retype what you need. And then once again, you can just move the arrow around and point to something different. And then once again, holding down that command and control key to select them both, go to group and just select group. Now don't forget, you can customize these boxes if you want to change the color of them at any time, that's absolutely fine. You can do it as a group. So if you select it, then you can go up to this one and change it to blue, change the shape to blue and deselect. And you can see it's changed the whole thing. So you don't have to ungroup at all, change the color. You can keep it as a group. And then once again, you can just simply copy and paste and move it around your document. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.